This video is going to teach you how to work with kinks and with fetishes. So first you have to have non judgment for yourself. Don't judge yourself for liking something that's a little bit off. Don't feel bad about having something that you're really interested in that maybe you think not a lot of people are. Maybe you think you're the only one. The world is a very, very big place, my friend. And I guarantee anything that you're interested in, you can find someone else who's interested in it as well. Maybe even someone who's interested in doing it with you. So don't judge yourself. Get a clear picture on what it is that you like be okay with it and then you can move to the next step and that's being able to explain it the better you can explain and understand what it is that you're interested in what this fetish or kink may be then the better you're going to be able to talk to a potential partner about it and then they can understand what it is maybe you can even potentially teach them what turns you on about it so that way they can have an easier time not judging you as well not saying that they will judge you but when we have an understanding of where things come from. It just makes it a little bit easier to have these kinds of conversations of things that might be considered a little bit more taboo. So whatever your kink, whatever your fetish is, at first, it might be really hard to talk about, but life is all about repetition. Everything is reps. That means that the more you do something, the easier it becomes, the more confident you will feel in whatever that thing is. So the first time you talk to someone about it and say, hey, I'm really into this, I really like this, whatever it may be, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. I'll tell you right now, it's gonna be a little bit scary. But on the 10th time that you do it, it's probably not gonna be as bad. Plus, if you're picking partners who are very open-minded people, that's gonna help you tenfold because those people will be easier to discuss some of these more alternative things. I should mention, I have a little training on how to build confidence. It's called Instantly Confident. It's 100% free. You can get it down in the description below, and it's gonna teach you all about how to be confident and build confidence, whether it be in this area or literally any other area of your life. Just a way to systematize it so you become the most powerful version of yourself. So check that out. It is free and it's in the description right now. Just so you're aware, because maybe you're not sure what your kinks or fetishes are. Maybe you, you have no idea. Some of the most common ones are threesomes, domination slash being submissive like BDSM, and outdoor sex. So telling you those things, so maybe you can think about it, say, hey, maybe that's something that I'm into, or maybe you wouldn't do any of those things. Hell, maybe you're a person who's not kinky or doesn't have any fetishes. And by the way, that's totally fine. It doesn't matter. But hopefully this just opens up your eyes a little bit more and expands your knowledge. Now let's get into some nitty gritty stuff here. If you want to have some more experiences with your partner, with a girl that you're dating, in terms of exploring this world of kinks and fetishes and getting on the same page, you can go to this website and uh, I've heard about this. This is not a sponsorship. I just think it's a really cool resource. I have no idea who built it or where it's from, but it's called Carnal calibration.com clever name when you go there you and your partner can each fill out an anonymous or a non-anonymous survey where you answer questions about what you're into and then at the end of it it pairs it up and it explains the common ground between you and your partner that way you can have an easier time having that conversation of what you're into and you both can sit down and you can say hey okay wow so you're into this and i'm into this wow so we have this in common and then you don't have to talk about any of the other stuff that each of you are into that the other person doesn't share. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but it is a very cool way to get on the same page as the girl that you're with. Okay, maybe you've come this far in the video and you're like, I trip, I still have no idea what I'm into. You mentioned a few things. How do I explore this more? Well, the avenue of fetishes and kinks goes longer than this video can explain. There's so many out there, it's, uh, it's nearly impossible to go through them all. But if you want to discover it, it's really as simple as going on a search engine and just typing in types of kinks and fetishes. There, you'll read a ton of lists, tons of websites where it's endless, and that can give you an idea. Another idea is actually going to a porn site. Okay, so if you're already there, which you probably go to or frequent, you can see some of the things that are happening and you can get that on a more visual basis. Now, if you're not a big porn person, 
I probably wouldn't encourage you to go there. I don't want to encourage anyone to watch stuff that they don't already watch just because it's probably better for you that you're not watching that stuff. But if you already are and you're already there, you can at least get an idea of other things that you might be interested in that you can do in real life. Next, you want to bring this up in a dating scenario fast. Okay, if you can help it. Yeah, down the line, you could use that carnal calibration website and see what's going on. That's totally fine. But it's going to be a lot easier when you bring up to your partner the things that you're into. It's a little bit harder to just bring that up out of nowhere where she goes, oh, wow, I had no idea. Not saying you can't do that because you might be a person who evolves like normal people, right? Maybe 10 years down the line, five years, you know, I don't care. Even a month, you learn something new that you're really into and you want to try it. That's totally okay. But if you already know some of the things that you're into, things that are even important to you, better to bring those up right away when you're dating someone so that you can actually explore those and you can have fun together.